The president like Biden is expected to begin his daily meetings with the outgoing administration's national security and top law enforcement. Extra security and precautions are already in place ahead of the inauguration on Wednesday. Now the FBI will vet all 25,000 National Guard troops who are in D.C. Some of those Hoosiers. CBS 4's Lexa Green has more on that process. They are going to be vetting each and every one of those National Guard members prior to Wednesday's inauguration. And this is a massive undertaking, one, though, that the FBI says is necessary for the safety, security, and the future of our country. The U.S. defense officials say they're concerned about a possible threat from service members from inside, which prompted them to vet everyone. The Army Secretary told the AP that commanders have been warned to be on the lookout for any problems within their ranks. It is important to note so far leaders have not seen any evidence of these threats. One first lieutenant from Delaware says his unit arrived in Washington the morning after the deadly insurrection at the Capitol involving pro-Trump support supporters. He said the attack reminded him of the oath that every National Guardsman takes. So every guardsman takes an oath, and it's to defend the Constitution from enemies foreign and domestic. And uh, as we've seen, uh, sometimes the enemies are a little closer to home. Right now, nearly 25,000 National Guard members and law enforcement officials remain in D.C. That's at least two and a half times the number from previous inaugurations. More than 600 of those National Guard members, they're from right here in the Hoosier State. They're expected to stay in our nation's capital through at least Friday. That's the latest in the newsroom. Alexa Green, we'll send it back to you in the studio.